regional leaders to a fresh round of negotiations in the hope of resolving a protracted feud of elections that sparked violence in the capital. The troubled Horn of Africa country is experiencing its worst political crisis in years, with fighting erupting in Mogadishu last week after the president extended his mandate by two years without going to elections. Even with the relative calm sneaking back into Mogadishu, reports coming out of Somalia state that opposition fighters remain in the capital even after President Mohamed Abdullahi Mohamed backed away from the mandate extension at the weekend and agreed to hold a fresh vote. The president on Sunday tasked his prime minister with reaching out to rivals and overseeing the negotiations, a key opposition demand. Somali Prime Minister Mohamed Hussein Roble had invited the leaders of Somalia's five semi-autonomous states to roundtable talks at a conference scheduled for May 20th. Roble also met with opposition heavyweights to discuss stability in Mogadishu, which has been on a knife's edge since rival factions of the security forces traded gunfire last week, leaving three people dead. According to the Somali government spokesperson, the move by the government is to show commitment to having everything resolved peacefully and to prepare for the upcoming National Reconciliation Conference. Some fighters in opposition strongholds have refused to leave Mogadishu following the clashes that forced tens of thousands of civilians from their homes in that city. The EU's ambassador to Somalia, Nicolas Berlanga, said demilitarizing Mogadishu was the priority for now. Meanwhile, the government on Wednesday urged people who have fled violence in the capital to return home as tensions eased after the president called for elections and renewed dialogue with his political rivals. Farmajo struck a deal with the states in September 2020 that paved the way for indirect elections before the government's term expired in February. The agreement collapses Farmajo and the leaders of the two states, Puntland and Jubaland, squabbled over the terms. But under domestic and international pressure, Farmajo agreed to return to the terms of the September agreement, a decision welcomed by his opponents as a step forward. Six months of UN-backed talks, however, failed to salvage the agreement the last time around. An analyst warned that without external pressure, the impasse could fester without a resolution.